Forensic video analysis is the scientific examination, comparison, and or evaluation of video in legal matters. Video analysis is a rapidly changing uh, field, mostly because the technology is constantly evolving. And although digital video cameras can be considered a eyewitness uh, when that video evidence is admitted to a court system, these digital video cameras don't always necessarily make the best eyewitnesses. The digital video recordings uh, that are produced by these, these systems are sometimes accurate and sometimes not. And there is information that's embedded within the file that must be interpreted to make determinations. So whether or not the, the information that's captured within those pixels is accurate. When estimating things like speed uh, of, a, of an object or a, a vehicle within a video recording, uh, the height of subjects, as well as completing measurements within a digital video recording, the methodology that we apply is called photogametry uh, and reverse projection. This methodology uh, has been around for quite some time, since the, the late 1800s. But what's new is our ability to use this and leverage this digitally uh, with tools and methodology from Input Ace, as well as companies like Leica, uh, we can create 3D point clouds within a space and overlay that information onto a surveillance video recording. This methodology is, is very exciting to be able to make determinations about a recording uh, with the highest precision by creating these uh, 3D environments. We've worked for uh, both sides of the court at state and federal level throughout the country as well as internationally. We've contracted for the DOJ as well as the DOD uh, and currently contract for the History Channel uh, for a show called The Proof Is Out There where we make determinations about the authenticity of video evidence. Is this real or, or is it fake? I also recently uh, was appointed to the video committee for the Scientific Working Group of Digital Evidence, uh, which is an agency that creates the best practices that we follow. It's a, it's a passion of mine to contribute uh, to that methodology, uh, to refine it, to make it better, so that all of the experts and forensics technicians in the field have accurate best practices to work from. In some cases, we can complete the entire forensic video analysis investigation uh, here in the lab. But in other cases, we have to go out to the field uh, and inspect that environment, inspect the camera system if it's still available, and create samples for comparison. So site inspections can be very important when opining about system functionality, how the original system actually created that data, and what that language is saying when it created that video. When performing forensic video analysis, oftentimes uh, I'm tasked to appear as an expert rebuttal witness uh, to investigations that other experts have performed. And what I experience uh, mostly is experts that aren't properly qualified in forensic video analysis, generating conclusions about a recording, uh, applying a specific type of test or methodology uh, inaccurately. So an expert rebuttal witness can be crucial, especially with all the different surveillance video that's appearing in, in court these days and all of the different types of people that are uh, being admitted as experts, uh, qualified or not, uh, to ensure that at the end of the day, the science is accurate, the methodology is accurate, and the conclusions are accurate for uh, the trier fact to make determinations about. When working in civil litigation, uh, every case is different, and we cater our investigations specifically to those needs of the case. If it's a simple question that needs to be answered, it's a simple investigation that's provided. If it's a complicated question that needs to be answered, a more in-depth investigation is required. Our goal is to help our clients understand more about the digital video evidence as well as the systems that create that evidence, to analyze information accurately to provide conclusions from an expert perspective and to teach. One of the aspects of my job that I love is being able to teach uh, people and help them understand how these systems work and what that, that video evidence represents because in a lot of cases, it can be used and has significant probative value. And in other cases, when that information is not understood correctly, it can be used as a weapon.